All right, back Deke in Hogwarts. So You've beaten Deke you. in the room of requirement. Deke this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. That was a knapsack. So it's going to nab your stuff. Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. Oh, I can get pets. <laughs> Pleasant little breed. I have been thinking about something Professor Howell said in the beasts class. That I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. Yep, yep, she yep. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area. So, perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. I agree, Deke. See, That's a good idea. The room knew exactly what you needed. And luckily, Deke can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. Why is it going to nab sack? Come along then. Going to nab the beast. Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Deke when you're ready to go. Here we go now. Come. Uh, I'm ready to learn how to use the nab sack. I'm ready to learn how to use the nab sack. Perfect. Deke loves an outing. <laughs> oh, have a cinematic out here. Going towards the forest, beautiful. A nasty poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. We need one of these little furry things. We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puff skeins nearby. It will be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skein, and in it'll go. All right. So we are literally kidnapping, or, or animal napping, bee snapping things with a sack. It's a, it's a spell set. Oh, God. Yes, lads. You, are... you look good. Oh, no. <clears throat> I, hadn't, I hadn't changed my spell set. Um, I'm sorry. Big man, I'm sorry. Like, it was a joke. Oh, crap. I can play this game again. <laughs> Come back! It was, just, it was just a joke. It was a prank. I didn't mean to freeze you. Nope. Shit. Hey. Check out my sack. You got one. Yeah, I froze one too. I managed to rescue a puff skein. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puff skeins and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puff skein. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A jobbernol, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be oh. careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. Don't you worry, I've been taking all the poachers recently for no reason. So can I just get more of them? Like I'm just, I'm, I'm calm just to get more of them. Yo, lads, you, you want to see my sack? Oh, no. Now, now, I'm only trying to help. Hey, lads, come on. The poachers are coming. Professor Howell will never believe this. I've got two of them. Like, they're like, um, what are they called? Furbies. The toys back in the day. What do I do with them after now? Do I take them to my... How, much, how many of these things have hit in my sack? There, there. Oh, I had a different... Not going different. to hurt you.
Now, I think there were poachers up here. I'm, I'm sure I saw them. It's saying here that it's not supposed to be here. It's not poachers, it's saying chaos. Oh. Take on some animals. What if I try and get these in my sack? Again, I'm lucky, mate. What's it? Oh, page. I've seen so many TikToks, like, you can tell that I'm just a loot goblin. I've got TikToks on my For You page talking about being loot goblins, where, like, you try and go to this quest over here, but there's a side quest there, there's a field page to get here, there's someone to fight over here. It's so true. Like, there's just so much stuff. There's just annoying amount of stuff to do. Like, the weirdest complaint you have about a game. It's just too much. I need to go to this bloody place. There's a spider below me though, that'd be fun to take out. But yeah, you know what, we're gonna wait. Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Let's oh, find good. some more beasts. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. The jobinals are just here in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. Not the freezing one. Do you have any advice on how I can rescue more elusive beasts? Levioso is not only helpful when rescuing flying beasts, it, it can also help rescue beasts that are generally hard to catch. Try using that spell the next time you encounter a small or otherwise elusive beast. Okay. Then I shall go and rescue a jobinal. Let's Good go. luck. Deke will be waiting. These have actually found. Okay, so literally just. Right, jumping on. We'll see who wants it. You want it? Let's go, let's go. Uh... Huzzah! I don't think so, mate. That's an actual Pokemon right there. Everything's alright. It's Articuno. Oh, green one. Hey, no. No, 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 no. Where'd you go? You. Yes, yes, yes. Let's get it, bop, 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 bop. Yes, oh yes, yes, yes. Woo. I rescued a jobinol. Deke hopes your jobinol finds the knapsack nice and cozy. Poachers want them for their feathers and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of. A herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. Jeez, mission after mission. Let's keep going. Later on, mate. He's already there. Must be nice. Right. Let's see what I can see on the way. Rebellion. Oh, I see them up here. Is that a thingy here? It is. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Mm. Okay. What are you saying, Deke? Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. Such a nice man. 
So I can actually advance time. But do I want to advance time? No moon calves here. Oh, wait, what has happened there? What was that? I have you. All right, lads. No beast. You don't, you don't want to be a beast? He's an animal. So we do this. We wait. Um. What are these? Hey, you, 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 you. No. Levioso. Wrong one. Oh, wow. That's two. Three. Triple. Triple kill. Professor Howell will never believe oh. this. Levioso. Is it cool? What's that? Ow! You a beast? You are though. I look so scared actually. There, there. I'm not going to hurt you. Yeah, I got three of them. It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. He'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. You just hold my hand, do a little click thing, and take me there. It'd be much easier. I guess not. It'd be much easier, you know? Like, just take me there with you. Deke, I've got beasts. Deke thinks you should be proud of them. There you are. <laughs> now, you need to show the beast you rescued, then you home. We but, caught him um, in the cutscene. Not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. I've got any room. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. I have a beast room. Welcome to Beasts! Hmm, what exactly did you think of? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Heavens! You've done it! But what is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Nice Meet you outside inside world. when you're ready. I've made them like a little haven. Oh, it's beautiful. All my beasts. Look at this. It's amazing. Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live. A vivarium of some sort. Can I just live here instead? Oh, beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them. Let them see their new home. How much they sell for? Can I just sell them? Wait. You can have, you have 12 active beasts? They have levels? Oh, <laughs> Awesome. Deke thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck oh, in Hogsmeade so can't sell them. will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a More fair money. price for them. 
Speaking of care, beasts that are well fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puff skein hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. Ah, oh, so I can nurture them. My little, my little Most brush. Excellent. My treat. Here you go, mate. Have that. Okay. Where's my other? Where's my? Oh, hello. Oh, no. No, sorry. No. Settle yourself. I mean, you know. I was just, I was just trying to put you over here. There you go. Now you want a treat for sure. I'm gonna get some moon calf uh, now. Right, come here. He doesn't seem to appreciate the uh, the the, uh, the thing as much. He's not, he doesn't like treats. He does. He does like treats. He likes his treats. Thank you for your feathers. Appreciate you. Now I have got more. Oh, you can get... Okay. Nurture Beast Care. Hmm. I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now, Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Oh, I feel like this is where that trait's going to come in. Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. Oh, that's that there. It's watching. Got some dinny leaves. I need to make potion. Um, right. Loom. Um, now what was my conjuring? Repairer. That's not thundering. Um, that changes the floor. Crap. Um, Rebellion. That's my utility. That's my actual attack. And that's my other attack. So it should be... Here? Did you use this one? Let's just change it for this one for now. Right, utility. An enchanted loom. Ah, uh, rotate. Should decorate this some more. I've seen some really nice decorated ones on like the old TikTok and stuff, but you know, for now, we'll just make mine the most basic of rooms. Has anybody got time for that right now? Ooh. Use a loom to upgrade your gear. Gear. Just one primary defense off. That's that. I should have read this, you know. So this one I've got on, right? So these gloves. View traits. Oh. 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 
Oh. Uh, increased damage with incendio. I use incendio sometimes. I don't use that. I haven't got Bombardia yet. I don't use that. Don't. Decrease damage from Doug Box. That's quite good. So if you get against those skeletons, it stops you from getting attacked more. Uh. These are, all, these are all locked, I guess. I need, I need some more traits, really. I've not really got... Oh, these level 3 traits. Traits level 2. I can't even have these. Too powerful. Pretty cool. View traits. Oh. wasn't that cool then was it I, just, I can make it so my incendio is much more powerful now so now i've got to use incendio incendio <laughs> i have to use it now it's the only thing i can use i've also got 17 health potions which i don't really think i feel like it's a bit overkill Wait, I tossed it upgrade out of my clothing. I have I have upgraded one. Hello? Oh, wait, that was not I can do I can do this too. My bad. How's that? Can upgrade and put traits on. I should show Deke. Hey Deke, mate, look, I've put traits on and I've upgraded it. I used the enchanted loom, Deke. Are you proud of me? Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Why would I explore the vivarium? Thank you for your help, Deke. They literally give me more stuff to do. Ah, it's in Shrek mod, yeah, and the Thomas Tank Engine one too. I said I need to do it for uh, like just for the fun of it. I need to sell those. I think else here is new gear slots. I've got five more gear slots. I need to go to Hogsmeade and sell some stuff. I can sell these at one twenty though. Should we go and sell these? You're back. Nice to see you again. It's fair. Oh, I haven't got an upgrade for my broom yet. Um. I would like to sell you some stuff, maybe, uh, if you don't mind. I could sell you this. I could sell you this. I will sell you this. And this. And this. In fact, I have a lot of stuff to sell you. I forgot. Oh, that's actually better than what I currently got. Oh, I should have worked out what these were. Uh, level 20, 16. I need bloody Alohomora level 2 so I can... Oh, Accio. Accio. Mm -mm -mm. Right, here is the shop which I can sell Hello. beasts in. Mind you, don't turn quick. If you're stuck with a Duracore feather, it doesn't half hurt. Revelio. So I could I... Could I steal these? And sell them to you. Should I notice? Okay, no. <laughs> Worth a try, you know, you never know. Right. Hello. Hello. Oh, welcome to Brood and Peck. I'm Ellie Peck. And before you ask, I'm out of a Braxton hair. The lot of it was bought up by a trader in Ottery St. Catchpole. Made me take it in person, they did. No care that I had to shut the shop. Apparently, had a bad experience with someone shipping them hair for my wampus cat. Must have been someone from America, no doubt. Because we don't even have a Mia. Anyway, what are you here for? Moon car fur? Derricall feathers? I'm here to Always sell you some Always have trouble collecting beasts. them yourself as the bird keeps disappearing. Cheeky thing. <laughs> Used to carry them in the shop, Derricalls. But people kept asking for their money back when they'd get home and the blasted things would be nowhere in sight. <laughs> he was like, 
didn't ask. I can imagine that would be rather frustrating. There's worse. Trust me. Most of the suppliers of whopper feathers may as well be living in St Mungo's. Not surprising, I suppose. The choir knows things. Oh, but such marvellous feathers. <laughs> Almost worth going mad for. Sounds like stocking your shelves comes with some hazards. Truer words never spoken. Used to carry beasts themselves. Good business it was, but add it up to here with parents grumbling. Not my fault if the little ones caught a flea of an easel. Ooh, you should have heard them. No, <laughs> best with byproducts. And I do like to make sure the beasts are safe and well cared for. Couldn't guarantee that with some of these prospective owners. Now, why don't you have a good look around? Stocks change all the time, and not just because they disappear. Always best to pop in whenever you can to get things before they run out. <laughs> Which they used to literally do. <laughs> thank you, I will. Take What's going on? all the time you need. What's going on? And thank you for stopping by. A treat to have you here. What do you have for sale? I swear he's got mugged off by an now, NPC. what sorts of beast byproducts might you be looking to acquire? I want to sell you beasts. I told you, I'm here to sell you I these. I don't mind selling things for certain clients. You know where to find me. Okay, so you can buy, uh, but I want to try and find these animals myself if possible. I'll not mind seeing you here again. Consider yourself welcome. No, I can tell I'm welcome. Oh, one down, man. Another pitiful beast caught him up. What's this? A shark! A shark! Let's see what you make of my Leviosa! Avey, nobody will believe I defeated the Nashwinder by myself. Why not? You're like level God knows what, mate. Why can't I get this? Oh, I need to use, I need to use my, um, my ultimate. Rebellion. No more loot anywhere. All right, Sebastian, it better be a good reason to come over here, right? Because there's so much stuff. You made it. I'm just sat in the rain. Enjoying the view. Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. A goblin's forbidden from carrying wands. Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on, I'll take you to my uncle's. This way. This guy's taking me to his uncle's. We barely even spoke. I don't want to go see your uncle. Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time, everyone stays out Hang of on, lad, there's a field page over here. Do you not see it? Rebellion. Let me just get that real quick. That should be important. This is the Feldcroft well. Here we are. My sister should be just inside. Are you trying to sit up your sister? What's going on? Aha! Sebastian, where did you... Is that what I think it is? We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure! Mm. When will you accept that? Never! I can never accept it. I'm oh, sorry for Sebastian now. Now look what you've done. I'm sorry. You just want to stay home. 
Don't worry, Sebastian. I'm I got sorry you. you had to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Oh, good. Sebastian. I need to go get a field Rob page anyway. He don't fall. Revelio. Practice dummies. My chest. Yes. More galleons in it. Right. That boy will fray my last nerve. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes. Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. He thinks he can help Anne. Oh, but nothing can be done for her. But how do you know? Sure, there's something. It could be that you've not yet discovered the cure. Ah, you oh, sound no. like Sebastian, thinking you know better than the healers at St. Mungo's. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the Loyalists' way. With all due respect, sir, hope could keep Anne's spirits up. You may mean well, but I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children, especially Sebastian. He's if you nice really guy. want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. He knows something that we don't, maybe. I hope you'll remember what I've said. Good day. Yeah, fuck off. I just want to Anne instead. I'm sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Would you like us to try? Are you all right, Anne? I, I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <laughs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts. And often suddenly, it's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met on my first day at Hogwarts in the Slytherin common room. Oh, the common room. Oh, I adored teasing first years about spotting mermaids through the window. I do miss Hogwarts, but I wouldn't mind being at Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home, it's not the cosy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. How do you Sebastian know? Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. Yeah, I can, I can, I'll I'll I'm not going to let him talk anymore. I can promise to speak with him about it. Thank you. His search for a cure is futile, I'm afraid. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. Hey, there's always hope. We could. I we could wish try. you well. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. Sebastian is my potion kit, not yours. Leave my things be. Revelio. Do in your house, so you don't mind. Iran, how was it the same about you? Well, sharp is still is foul, but you know what I mean. You're feeling better. Give yourself an apple. Oh, there's a chest outside, I think. Right, Sebastian. Why will he not listen to me? She's my sister. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance of what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. Uh, he was... Do I back him or what? I know he's angry, but he's only trying to do what he thinks is best for Anne. Well, he's thousand, always it. angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. 
It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Maybe Both your Anne dad and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Ranrock's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. Where are we going then? I'd like to stay here because there's a lot of loot that I haven't. All the debris you'll see at. is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. They've been digging for something. Revelio. Up there, on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. This way. You got a broomstick? Can be quicker. How much longer are we expecting to dig through this rubble? I mean, my boy, come on, let's go then. All right, Sebastian, let's do it. Hey, Sebastian, they're beefing us. Sebastian! Shit, Sebastian! Don't lie, don't worry, lad, I've got you. Oh, God, I haven't... Yeah, wow, I actually just cut him in. That's that potato, aren't they? I don't waste your ult, I don't weak being. I'm lucky. Yes. Ow. What's that about? You're leaving your light alone. I won't rest until you're Now practice it. Come on. Come on. Have that, son. You've made your last mistake. Have I, though? I feel like you've made your only mistake here and you thought you could beat me. Oh, that is embarrassing, isn't it? No! Won't let you worry about. Just wait till I'm on. I won't rest. Me and the boy. Me and the boy Sebastian just got in. Bands I'm a goblin, not a toy. Loads of bloody goblins. You got saved by a lamppost there, so you know. Me and the boy, look. I confess. That was a bit more than I'd bargained for. Ow, a big thing to me, Sebastian. To Not gonna lie, that was pretty good. I respect the hustle. Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. So this is where the curse happened. In the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed, 
They didn't even give her a chance to run. They were trying to hide something. It seems something. an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at Billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? Let's have a gander. They seem to have set up camp here for a specific reason. They have Rebellion. stations for everything. What's this? Must be a clue. Whose home was this? Been abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumour was a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. But that's all I ever heard. There's a clue over here. Always armed and ready for a fight, ran Rock's loyalists. A clue down here too, what's this? I've heard Money. goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the Ministry isn't doing more. It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. Rebellion. Some loot in here, you know, some money, some galleons. There's some more weird stuff over here, though. There is a... There is a well. This well looks familiar. Sebastian, I've seen this before. This house, the well, the view. Is this this is the Hamlet. When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in when a we, second. When we looked in the mirror, the memory thing. This is about... There was someone was ill. It's the same Hamlet. Maybe. Not sure. Could be wrong. Rebellion. Right? Sebastian. Over here. Do you think that this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. What are they trying? Sebastian. This house did belong to a Hogwarts professor. Hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you- I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganock. She was one of the keepers. The keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library? I'm not following you. Just listen to what I'm saying. It's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. Ancient magic. It has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. Yup. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Yup. Oh. And this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. Yeah. If I didn't know you, I think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it, when you put it like that? The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the keepers. It's a mutually beneficial search. Look at this. Wow, I didn't Someone have four. There was for a reason. Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. Huh, a stairwell. Rebellion. What is a stairwell doing in the house? It's in the basement. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. Mm. Tells me they're after something bigger. It's my second week in the camp. More arrive each day. The muggle doctors and even some of our own healers are doing all they can for them. The grief is palpable. The ones who have survived the plague are forever damaged by their loss. A fever may pass. The skin may mend and scar. But a devastating sorrow remains. I saw a man, much like my father, who had lost a child. I couldn't bear it. I longed even some shred of relief. I mean to think that the others are wrong. I have the power to hurt these souls. It is arbitrary not to help them. 
as it would be to get rid of their torment. I think a this Isadora has used magic I should hold on to, to heal people and it's fucked it all up. I traveled here to learn, but I long to help. My internal struggle is overwhelming. The Zoda magic wants to heal and I'm the one preventing it from doing so. Shall I lose hope? Will I ever forget not doing more? I cannot look into their eyes knowing I could lessen the burden of heartache. I saw the man leaving camp today, the one who so reminded me of my father. Surely wouldn't hurt to help him. I could further my research, of course. That would be a fortuitous consequence of doing something good with this ability. Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. Hmm. It seems like there's more behind there, too. What's back there? Um. Repairer. Lumos. Also. Let me through. You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. Who? What? A daydream. Revelio. Because that happens to me too. You can see the who? Lumos. I know it sounds strange, but honestly, I... nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. Like a I have a rare ability to see whispers of ancient magic. I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. Okay, we've told this guy everything <laughs> now, so... I knew you weren't telling me everything. Ancient magic. What does that even mean? It's magic I'm is not ancient. entirely sure, but the Keepers have said that it's a powerful magic that should only be wielded by a select few. And you can wield it? I don't know, but Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows, I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can. But perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even Ominous. Understood. Ominous knows his... We well, know Ominous is a secret, though. Invisible secret ancient magic passageway? Here we come. I guess I'm Sebastian's my boy, then. My breath. So that must mean that if, if I wasn't Slytherin, my game would be so much different right now, because I wouldn't have... Sebastian. Stole it, those stupid goblins. Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. A note. Let's have a look. The rune diagram. Looks like it's missing some pieces. Anything helpful in the note? A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the Keepers. I've been thinking. A Keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did not? Is it connected to our common room? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. Mm. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. I'll be in touch. Till then. Toodaloo. I am glad that you received my owl. We need to stay low and remain quiet. Lassie, what's going on? Why are we all the way out here? As promised, I did some investigating to find out what Harlow is up to. 
I followed him to the hog's head. I noticed him reading a letter. All I could see was that it was signed by and bore the seal of Victor Rookwood. And after you told me that Rookwood and Harlow were after you, I decided that you were the perfect person to join me in taking them down, for good. That letter is the tangible proof that Officer Singer needs. It is why I followed Harlow here and why I wrote to you. I need your help to retrieve it. Can I go straight to the ministry? Can't we just bypass Officer Singer and go directly to the ministry? Do you think they will listen to a student? Only Officer Singer can start an investigation. The ministry will come in later. Oh, then. I'll help you find the letter, Natty. I'm glad to hear it. First, we must access the castle keep. I'll check the main gate, see if you can find another way in. I do not see any guards, but we should still try to be as quiet as possible. Hollow is here, after all. Alright, quiet, you say. Don't mind me. I will always just... Go in silencio, pop of all. I will be invisible. Rebellion. Unless you tease me with some loot. <laughs> like eggs. Hmm. I wonder what that does. I think you could push that. Give it a little bit of the pulse over. Depulsor. That did it. And then maybe you could... Accio, uh. Is there a secondary one? I guess. How do I get to freeze in place? That would be it. Rebellion. I need to find a way into the gatehouse to open the gate for Natty. Hmm. Interesting. Also, Rebellion. Accio. That looks as if it might raise the gate. Rebellion. I opened the main gate. I didn't just stay there. That was a cool idea what I just did. I have to write this down, but you move mind and listen. Push the gate open, don't blast it. You find it blown to pieces again, that's how the end of your lot. Push the gate open. Don't blast it. I'm blasting it. What do you want? Accio. Well done. I will be right up. I knew you could do it. This way, I will get the door. Safeage, appreciate ya. She got at level two. That's what I need. That is the main keep. My guess is that we'll find Hallow and the letter inside. We'll need to be careful once we get. I hear them. He's terrified. What's that? Yeah, restrain the beast. Oh. Yeah. Hippogriff. Po uh, they're poachers. Attack the poachers. No. Hey. High wing. Do you know that hippogriff? Very well. New plan. I get the evidence and you free that hippogriff. Agreed? Agreed. This is our chance. Go. Blast it! Blast it! There's gotta be another way to get up to the roof. 
Somewhere. Well, I've, I've clearly hinted it's this way, haven't I? I hope Natty stays out of trouble. Rebellion. Case, that would it <clears throat> Yep, I saw that the whole time. Leviosa. You know you, you guys into the staircase. Safest place to sneak into. Revelio. Are you right, mate? Don't mind me. Revelio. Yeah, we could we could go more quiet. Excellente. Hippogriff. Revelio. Oh, sorry, there's loot in it. Got make money off these lot as well, you know. There's galleons to be made. Um. I hope Natty's having an easier time of it. Level two a lot. I haven't got a level. Ah, I need a Lohamora. You're going home in a wooden box. Yeah, well, you're going yes, off I the mean. edge of that. <laughs> so, who's really winning? Akio. And what? Alohomora. Hippogriff. I swear it was like downstairs. How are we going higher and higher? What would this game be without Revelio? Oh my god. Imagine. Most important story in the game, I'm telling you. Astrid. 
Keep an eye on my stash, eh? It's yours if I mysteriously disappear. That liar cheated us out of what was ours, so I took what I could and hid it here. Twenty damned years and treated no better than fools who've been here two blasted weeks. Manfred. So what he had was some, some black fingerless gloves. That was the loot that he stashed away after 20 years. That's what he left just in case he died. You know? Just some golf gloves. High wing. High wing. It's all right. Oh, we another go. one. Who's another one? There you are. Come on. A lot of money. Now we have a hippogriff. Hurry. No. Natty, get on mine. Jeez, we're escaping in style. There's fireworks going off in all sorts. Oh, you have to fly it. Jeez. I can see the train as well, look. Going towards Hogsmeade Station. There's the Hogwarts Express. See, look. Must be returning from an unscheduled run. They know what they're doing, innit? It's like a Forza Horizon moment, this is. Between us, high wing. That was cool. Ah I wonder if anyone can see us from the castle. This is amazing. Oh god, sorry, no. <laughs> oh, he's afraid of a little bit. It's incredible, isn't it? It's incredible, isn't it? It is. Come on, Thomas Tatings, let him know. Wow, I did it myself. Uh, Jesus Christ. I joined in. <laughs> To be fair. <laughs> How exciting. <laughs> it was exhilarating, wasn't it? I wasn't sure we were going to make it out alive. <laughs> there was no need to worry. I had it all under control. Were you able to find the letter? Summoned it straight out of Harlow's hands. <laughs> I will say, I did not expect to see him cast the killing curse at us. He won't forget this. Be Ooh. on your guard. Of course. He casted a killing curse what did at us. to say? That Rookwood's looking for a phoenix. <laughs> Not sure where he will find one. But it also included Harlow's orders to inspect that castle for the poachers. Enough to connect Harlow to the crimes. I shall deliver the letter to Officer Singer. She'll have to do something when she sees it. Now, tell me, where did you meet these hippogriffs? I've only met Highland before. Puppy introduced us. Puppy Sweeting knows a hippogriff. <laughs> of course she does. Puppy will now be relieved do. to know that High Wing's safe. I came to the right person for help. My mother will be worried. I must go. Seek me out soon. I shall have much to tell you. So happens to High Wing now? Z so seems pretty happy with me. Hiring, new item. Hiring is my item. Slow down now. There we go. This must be Tobbs's cave. I suppose I should head inside. Hello, Mrs. Spiders. 
I'm just here to ruin your whole day, if you don't mind. There were some dons behind me that were trying to beat me, which is quite Give that back, Akio! What have you done? What have you done? The beasts around here can sleep a bit easier now. Right. Rebellion. There's a, there is beasts right here, apparently. I'll get another time. That's they're gonna be the same ones as before. We're gonna fit them forest. Spinner's cavern. Spinner's cavern full of spiders, the spinners. Now spiders are not fans of all this fire stuff, are they? Incendio. Rebellion. It ruins all the Tobs! You missed your quota by three files. You know what that means? Uh, it means my loyal customers are missing their bottles of Seamus's sh shrinking solution. This foolish mistake, you'll be given no food for a week. Your fed is house health. I would expect you to punish yourself accordingly. Uh, when I return from next shipment, I bear see bloody advantages instead of your usual idiotic grin. Do not meet your next quota. Plus five. That's very sad. Pobbs's master is awful. Rebellion. Let him punish himself. Tobbs. Tobbs. That was weird. Tobbs. Deke sent me. Are you in here? Tobbs, mate. I've come to save the day. <laughs> Incendio. You should have sold stuff for coming in here as well, shouldn't I? Aha. Is this by there? That, to me, sounds like a bit of a bam, the bingo. Bow. Get stomped on. Descendo. I mean, that's what that, that feels like to me. Rebellion. Oh. Ah! You try it, sneak up on me. Oh, okay, he needs to get me! What the fuck is that thing? Holy moly! Ah! Jesus Christ! It looks um, as if Tops was here some time from? ago. That's supposed to happen. Must that have in the game. What's happened? Tops. Where did that big thing go? Oh, not these things again. That's how you deal with those. Not my fault you're a deadly great spider. Expelliarmus! Oh, Incendio! Incendio! Oh. Okay, you want a flaming spider. Incendio! Do you know It's gonna be a big thing. Rebellion. Right. Expelliarmus, incendio. You can't escape me like here, right? Go away. Incendio. Your friends. Incendio. Your friends. It's gonna see all how hot it is around here. Oh, Excellent take. Incendio. Ooh. It's two galleons. Alright, let's get locked in. Spider fang. 
Not that round here, please. What are these Ross legs? Uh, I'll just have to confringo you. Because you will disappear straight away. Rebellion. Yeah, I thought I could hear you, little losers. I can't fight you right now, so that's not fair. You can't make me beef you. Matchup's head into the ground. He's on the wrong bloody thingy. Oh no. No, 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 no. Ow, what the fuck is that? Ooh. On your head top. Oh god, no, on my head top. Give me some space. I need some space to breathe. No, 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 no. He's on the wrong bloody spider again. It's fine though. Incendio. Using the wrong bloody thing. Right, right, right. Uh. Tobbs. Tobbs, mate. Are you in here? Tobbs. Tobbs, hello. Hello, Tobbs. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Yeah, it's fine, mate. Yep, yeah, don't you worry about it. Fucking hell, have that. Um, everyone go on fire, please. Oh god. Um. Ow, 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 my face, ow, my face. Can we all just calm down? Can we all just talk about this? Fucking hell. That fucking hurts. Ah! No, I want. No! Ah! Ah! Ow, ow! Can you mind? You lot. Fuck off. I swear I've had enough of you lot. No. Why won't you die? What are you doing to you? God. It's the little rodent ones. Get these lot away from me. You got this. Literally. That's it. More like it. Fuck me. No, I have used an ancient magic on that little thing. Uh, uh, uh. He's, he's not even hurt. Right, okay. Let's all, just, let's all just calm down, shall we? Fuck me. Fuck me. What are, you, what are you on? Right. 
Who brought this guy to buy? Charge up, you're supposed to smack him one. <laughs> no, no, I'm not gonna die there. Are you joking? He was about to go. Why does your head only go? the floor at certain times. Ow! And is that one sorted, right? And then... It was so easy as well. My God, just, you know. So you had to dodge him three times and use his endo. That was the key Rebellion. I wasn't doing. It was very, very easy after all that, but I've made it look an absolute mission, so I do apologize. <coughs> first try, right, lads? That was definitely first try. Go on. Incendio. I'm hoping that was the boss battle and that wasn't just, I didn't just fight. No reason there. I have a feeling that house elf is Tobbs. Master, if you find Tobbs' body, the big spider was too much. Tobbs has failed you and deserves his punishment. Tobbs feels weak, sleepy. Tobbs must. Poor Tobbs. Left here alone with the spiders. No, Tubbs died. That big spider got him. Revelio. Didn't even get to meet Tubbs. I'd looked after Tubbs. Get out of this hell home. Rebellion. I 
I can go that way. I need to go that. This wasn't the exit. This was just a loot goblin corner. <laughs> A loot goblin corner? That table looks familiar. Look at that, mate. Seems I'm back at the entrance to the cave. Who knew that Thomas Taters was a genius after all this time? I'm back from the cave, Deke. Wonderful. Uh, uh, Deke hopes you gave Deke's best to Tobbs. I'm sorry to tell you this, Deke, but Tobbs is gone. Mm. It seems he was unable to avoid the spiders in the end. Oh my! Yes, Deke was afraid of this, alone in that cave for so long. Oh, poor Tobbs. Uh, Deke and Tobbs once shared the same master. When he died, we were separated. Deke always wished Tobbs had been sent to Hogwarts too. Deke feels lucky to serve such kind witches Ooh. and wizards like you. You had Tobbs and Deke, Deke here together. His dearly. And we'll raise a glass to him with a heavy heart. <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm truly sorry about your friend, Deke. Thank you. You are very kind. Deke could use some time alone to think if that's all right. No. I need my ambience changed right now. I need to buy seeds for that bloody other plant. I forgot what his name is. Thanks, sweet. Hello, sweet.